Welcome back graduates. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a size guide under the Dawn 5.0 collapsible tab. So let's get right into this. When you scroll down here, it's going to have an option under the collapsible tab and it says size guide. You can choose a different icon here and it is mobile uh, optimized as well as desktop as well. So if you go and just inspect this and refresh, you're going to see that it does, you know, work on mobile as well. This. So in order to do this, you're going to go in and there's a couple steps to this. You're going to go into the back end of your um, Shopify store. This is the theme theme here. What you're going to want to do is go in the way back here, the dashboard, and you're going to start creating a page. The first step is create a page. So I've already created a page as a um, example. So I'm just going to rename this page and I'm going to create a new one. So the new one is just going to be size guide for hoodies. So I'll just do size guide hoodies. And then, you know, I just need, I don't need the same, I don't need different content. I'll just, you know, take this and I'll copy and paste it right into here. Now I just need to save. So now I, I know that my page is size guide hoodies. The next step after that is creating a meta field. And what you want to do is you're, you're going to go into the back end of your Shopify store under settings, and then you're going to click on meta fields. And what this basically means is it's just going to pull in dynamically a different content so you can have different content um, displaying on different pages. So right now I have a size chart. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a definition and I'm going to do size chart hoodie. And for this size chart hoodie, I'm going to go and select my content type. And this content type, I'm going to do a reference. And I'm going to reference a page here. You can reference a product and you can reference a product variant. But I'm going to reference a page here. So I'm going to pull in that page, uh, the size, size chart hoodie. And I'm going to save this. Now give Shopify a little bit to reflect. For this, I'm going to be choosing a collapsible, uh, collapsible row, and it's going to go right under here. But what I want to say is this is going to just, for example, sake size guide hoodie. And then I'm going to pull dynamically because if you don't, it's going to show on all product pages. So what we want to do is, you know, if we have a hoodie, we want to only show hooding, hood size, hoodie sizes. If we have a t-shirt, uh, we're going to show only t-shirt sizes. So you have to go back to the pages and make all those sizes for um, those product types. So this is for the hoodie and I'm just going to do size guide hoodie. So this is specifically for hoodie and then you have the icon to, uh, to use. So for this, I will probably just use a shirt since they don't have um, a hoodie, but it does show, it does indicate a um, apparel. So now over here, I'm just going to choose the hoodie and it's going to, you know, give me a reference size guide hoodie. And then I'm going to save this. So that looks really great, actually. There you go. And then here's the other one as well. So the other thing is this right now is going to um, be on every product. However, if I want to, I'm just going to remove that one. However, if I want to really make this a custom product page, I can go into here and do products and then create a new template, a new product template based on, you know, the default one and lay it out. So I can just do hoodie. And if I have a hoodie product, so now, so now I can just go and change this. And if I have a hoodie product, but I don't right now, going to go into t-shirt so this means that anything that I design in here and set in here is only going to be applicable to the hoodie template now what I can do is pull dynamically or if you're gonna have a a hoodie um, custom product page you don't need to pull this uh, size guide dynamically it's only gonna reflect on the hoodie custom template now when you assign a product template you're gonna go back into your products here and I'm just going to go into the product that I want to assign the product template to and then once it loads you scroll all the way to the bottom here scrolling down this is where you're going to see theme template so you can assign this and now you notice that hoodie is here 
I'm just going to assign it. So this means that, you know, if you have a hoodie uh, product template, you can lay out an awesome landing page and then it only reflect on the hoodie template that you assign on the products too. And then another product can have different content as well. So there's two different ways to do the size guide and to allow it for showing different content. Thanks guys for watching.